Hey everyone, it's Marco here from My Color Screen. If you're an Android user and you really enjoy customizing your Android home screen, well then you've definitely come to the right place. Let us begin. So today's video tutorial is on a screen of the day by the very popular author called Peshek with his home screen called Circles and this design is simply fantastic. If you look at the bottom starting there it's got that really good looking red color there. I'm not too sure what kind of red it is but it looks really good and it blends well with the rest of the screen. It's got your, your dates as well as your weather at the bottom there as well as your jump to say for your browser whatever you want. And in the middle there, it's got that really, really good looking circle there where it's got a little, little Gmail, how many, like how much mail you have, how much missed calls, how much text, me text messages you have. It all comes together really well. And at the top, that really good looking music player there. And I'm, I've never really seen that before, but the design looks really good with those little dots there. Looks really good. It comes together in one complete screen. I don't know about you, but this is a fantastic home screen. And today's video tutorial will explain exactly how to recreate it. So, without any further ado, let us bring to you today's video tutorial. Great, so starting out, if you're say using a Galaxy S3 or anything that doesn't have a navigation bar at the bottom, then your grid size settings for say Nova or Apex Launcher will be a 10 by 9. So, like I said, I'm using SS Launcher for my Nexus 4 as the UCCW skin at the bottom didn't fit too well. So, let us begin with SS Launcher as I actually really enjoy it. So starting out, we're gonna select the back button or your menu button, and then from here, this is your menu here, you wanna go into your theme. So you can either change your animation settings when swiping between stuff. I just set it as stacking as it just looks pretty cool. So remember you wanna select apply changes for that. Then you wanna go back into your menu, back into theme. Then you wanna go into your label and then scroll down all the way. And you wanna select hide labels and then select apply changes. Remember apply, so that it won't show those those labels at the top. Remember you need the original version or the paid version for this, otherwise you can't hide the labels. And also remember that everything you need is in the description below, just letting you know that too. So from here, you're just gonna select back. And then one more thing to take note of is if you go back again and you go into your preferences, you wanna select the full screen option here, just so that it hides the notification bar at the top. But do not worry, if we go back and we slide down, we can see that we can still get it quite easily. Next, we're gonna be setting this wallpaper. Great, so for the wallpaper, very easy to do. You're just gonna hold down on the home screen, select wallpaper. You wanna select, say, quick pick wallpaper, and then find where you've copied this folder onto your phone. You wanna select the white one here. You're gonna select it, and you pretty much, as long as it touches the sides and it gets the top there, you can just select the tick, and it'll set it up for you. Great, once that's done, we can move on to adding in the UCCW widgets. Great, so for these widgets, you just wanna be holding down on the home screen. You wanna select new widgets, and you want to scroll all the way down to UCCW. If you're using an, uh, any other launcher, you're going to be doing pretty much the same thing. So for the bottom one, we're going to go for a 4x1. And you want to select Use Up at the top. Now you want to go into that folder where you've copied onto your phone. Here it is called Circles. And you want to say for the bottom one, you just want to select Bottom. And then it will import it for you onto your home screen. Now for SS Launcher, what's really cool and why I use it is that when you tap away and then select the hand, it shows you like this. And from here, if you select it now, you can now resize it to any size that you want. So you can really get that flush fit at right at the bottom as well as the sides. And remember for those fine adjustments, if you tap the skin again, it'll bring up your little joystick, which you can just get that fine, fine placement, which I really enjoy. So once you tap away, you can see that it's fit perfectly at the bottom, ready to add in your next skin at the top. So again, we'll be going for a UCCW and the size really doesn't matter for this one. Let's go for a 2x2 two two, as we can always just resize it. You want to go back into your use zip and we want to go for the central use zip. Again, it's going to import it for you. And you want to tap away, tap the skin. And let's just drag it like this. Make it a bit bigger. So there you want to get it to be more or less in the middle. And then from here, you, as you can see, your Gmail isn't looking too good. It's got that lot of writing. So you want to select your skin. Make sure that your lock widget is off. And if you don't know how to do that, just go into the main app from the app drawer, go into your menu here. You want to select lock widgets and make sure that it is off. So once you bring up your UCCW editor here, you want to select your background, which brings up your select object menu over here. From here, you want to select your Gmail one and you want to scroll all the way to the end. You want to select your account 
It's going to bring up your menu, you're going to select your account and then from label you're just going to select your inbox like that. From here you just want to go back, see how it's going to be looking like and all is good. So you want to add in your final UCCW skin here, it'll be your battery one which you just need to resize and make it look all pretty. So they have just added the battery one, as you can see it brings up a little green line once they center in the middle which really helps sometimes. So you just want to make it a bit bigger and there we have all of our UCCW skins ready for the phantom music control at the top. Great, so to add in the phantom music controller, you want to go into your new widget, you want to scroll all the way down, and you want to select phantom music control over there. It's going to bring up your settings for you. You want to select hide controls, you don't want to have those controls there. From here you want to select choose your music player, so you can go say for Google Play Music and well, I guess whatever one you want and then make sure that your theme is inverted or black on white and you'll choose background it's 0% or no background and then from here you want to select confirm so I've just positioned it there and you can just tap away and then if you want to bring up say your music player just need to tap on the skin and it'll bring up your music player where you can just start playing it from there great so we're nearly done we just want to configure our UCCW if you tap it again it'll bring up your menu from here you can select your background and then select your hotspot now if you're not too sure on hotspots, don't worry, we've got a complete UCCW tutorial in the links below. Same goes for the bottom UCCW skin, just check that everything is in order, such as the hotspots moving around. And once you've got everything the way that you want it, you can select menu here, lock widgets and then on and it'll save them all for you where you can just go back and they'll be set up. So say if you want to open up your messaging, you can just select your messaging there and it'll bring it up all for you. Boom, and there we have our home screen complete. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this home screen tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below, as well as subscribe, like or comment on this video, see what you think, as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities as we are continually growing. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing. So today's video tutorial is on a Android home screen. It's simply amazing. If you, as you can see, it's surrounded by. So today's video tutorial is on a screen of the day by the very popular author called Preshik. So today's video tutorial is 